Hey everyone, I'm Mia, found deep within the earth. Not even the extreme dangers of mining can keep people away from the obscure chunks of precious stone that have been considered of utmost value since even the most ancient civilizations. These precious stones, such as diamonds, rubies, emeralds, and jade, are an undying symbol of wealth and luxury. Throughout history, jewels have been passed through the hands of royalty and socialites alike, sometimes even gifted from one to the next. Their monetary value reaches such exorbitant heights because of the demand of these jewels among the rich, royal, and famous. Have you ever wondered what the most expensive jewelry looked like? What kind of stone? What kind of piece? Necklace? Ring? Bracelet? What follows are the most expensive and rare jewelry pieces sold for? So let's start. Number 10. The Orange. $36 million. Valued at $36 million. It was sold at Christie's Geneva auction in November 2013 and was by far the largest fancy vibrant orange diamond ever sold in this manner. Unsurprisingly, it too received a record-breaking offer, increasing to an astounding $35.5 million, well beyond its estimated worth of $21 million. Number 9. Pink Emerald Cut Graph Diamond $46.2 million when this 24.78 carat beautiful vivid pink diamond was sold to jeweler Lawrence Graff for $46.2 in 2010, it broke auction records. Graff recut and renamed the diamond after purchasing it from Harry Winston, who had previously owned it and had kept it in his personal collection for many years. This piece of jewelry stands out due to its elegant emerald cut which features a special kind of purity that is often found in white diamonds and a delightful hue. Number 8. Blue Moon of Josephine, 48.4 million. The 12.3 carat blue moon diamond was first discovered in the Cullinan mine of South Africa in 2014. It is 12 carats and cost the felon $48.4 million, the most per carat a diamond of any color has ever sold for. Hong Kong billionaire Joseph Lau Luen Hung bought it for his seven-year-old daughter Josephine, after whom he named the stone. Number 7. Link Comparable Diamond Necklace $55 million Set on a bed of 18,000 gold are 407.48 carats of diamonds that make up the link comparable diamond necklace. At its center is the largest internally flawless yellow diamond known, which is about the size of an egg. It is currently the most valuable necklace in the world, owned by Muadwad, a Swiss and Emirati luxury goods company being sold for $55 million as of 2013. The large diamond at the center of the necklace has a bit an unusual history. A young girl in the Democratic Republic of Congo discovered it randomly in a pile of mining rubble roughly 30 years ago. Number 6. Oppenheimer Blue $57.5 million. The Oppenheimer Blue Diamond, weighing 14.6 to 12 carats, bears the name of its first owner. In fact, it astonished the crowd in May 2016 at a Christie's auction. For an emerald cut stone of that worth, it sold for $57.5 million, setting a record transaction. Number 5. Pink Star $71.2 million The Pink Star Diamond is 59.6 carats, though it was originally cut from a 132.5 carat rough diamond. It was mined by a renowned international corporation of diamond miners, D. Beers, in 1999 from South Africa. After 20 months of cutting, the pink star took its current shape. The Gemology Institute of America has graded this stone as the largest internally flawless, fancy vivid pink diamond known to this day. Before it became the pink star, this rare gem was known as the Steinmetz Pink where it was displayed at the Smithsonian Institute as part of its exhibit, The Splendor of Diamonds. In 2017, it was auctioned at $71.2 million to Chow Tai Fook Enterprises in Hong Kong. It is the most costly gem ever sold at auction, fetched $71.2 million in a Sotheby's sale in April 2017. Number 4. Wittelsbach Graph Diamond $80 million. According to the story, 4th King Philip of Spain was the original owner of this 35.56 carat diamond, 
which was given to his daughter Margarita Theresa as part of her dowry for her marriage to Emperor Leopold I of Austria in 1664. The Wittelsbach diamond, which had been a part of the Austrian and Bavarian crown jewels for generations, was bought by renowned jeweler Lawrence Graf for $22 million and recut to 31.6 carats. In 2011, he resold the diamond to a member of Qatar's royal family for an unbelievable $80 million. Number 3. Peacock Brooch, $100 million. Graf Diamonds launched the Peacock Brooch in 2013 at the Tef of Luxury Arts and Antique Fair in the Netherlands. It is made of 1,305 gemstones, including white, yellow, pink, orange, and green diamonds. Also, the piece of jewelry has a spectacular blue diamond weighing 20 point to carats on its own. Even though it is barely 10 centimeters tall, the peacock brooch costs $100 million and the whereabouts and ownership of the peacock brooch are not public at this time. Number 2. A Heritage in Bloom, $200 million. Taking the number 2 spot on the list is Heritage in Bloom with a cost of $200 million. It is designed by Chinese master craftsman Wallace Chan. 383.4 carats of precious stones make up the entire set with the centerpiece exquisite colorless diamond alone being valued at a stunning $35 million. The necklace also has 600 pink diamonds, 114 ice green jadeites, 72 white mutton fat jades, and 19 more divine colorless diamonds. The necklace weighs a hefty half pound thanks to all these beautiful stones. Also, the necklace has a modular design that can be sported in 27 ways. And the number one, the Hope Diamond, $250 million. The most expensive and perhaps the most famous jewel in the world is a 45.52 carat blue stone known as the Hope Diamond. Experts think its unusual blue coloring comes from impurities caused by trace amounts of boron atoms. Aside from its magical look, legends about the diamond's bad luck and curses have created the opposite effect, making it a jewel that has been highly sought after throughout history. These legends may have been stimulated by the strange luminescence in the diamond. Its trace amounts of boron leave the stone glowing a startling red when removed from all light sources. Before it became the Hope Diamond, this stone was even larger than it is now. It is thought to have come from the Golconda mines in southern India. In 1666, it was bought by a French gem merchant named Jean-Baptiste Tavernier and named the Tavernier Blue. Not too long after, it was cut and renamed the French Blue, under which name it was sold in 1668 by Tavernier to 14th King Louis. In 1792, the French blue was stolen from the royal family and cut again. The largest section of what remained of the diamond was named Hope upon its appearance in the London banking family's gem collection in 1839. Their last name was Hope. From then it had several owners, but was eventually sold to a young socialite millionaire from Washington named Evelyn Walsh McLean in 1911. When she died, after undergoing many tragedies that are said to have come from the diamond's curse, it was sold to another gem merchant named Harry Winston in 1949. He toured it for years before donating it to the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History in 1958, where it still remains on exhibit. Wow! What is your opinion about these jewels? Feel free to comment. Don't forget to like video, subscribe to channel, and turn on notifications to be notified of new videos. I'm Mia. Thanks for watching. See you in the next research video.